successful games in World Championship ice hockey. The Soviets and the final game is underway. The Soviets playing from right to left. Hack and Lube shadows his man. And that's the kind of thing you're going to see. End-to-end -end pressure. Bikoff gets it up on the wing. A little poke there on the D. Pavel Buda gives that away. The pass intended to go through and the break with Pavel Buda taken out of the play. Ritterwald got a touch to that. Lidstrom shadows Pavel Buda and the Swedes. Mats Naslin on the wing. The shot goes behind the goal. Kamensky. Kamensky, Bikoff and Buda. Buda takes the shot. And that ends up a souvenir well and truly over Ritterwald's head. Soviets come out quick. This is that danger line. Burra never stops moving. He's all over the ice. He's such an inspiration for these guys to play with. The older guys I'm mentioning are like Kamensky, Matisov. They enjoy being out on the ice with this kid. He really is an addition to this team. Talking about Pavel Burra, Tikhanov said that a player like him is born every 10 years. Semak dumped to the ice, so not a bad tribute for a 20-year-old, or to a 20-year-old. That comes out over the blue. Miranov gives it right away. The break is on for Victorson. Goes in, takes the shot. Trefilov makes the save. Well, that'll certainly get Trefilov's nerves calmed a bit. Comes up with a great save early in the game. That usually always helps a goaltender. Lomakin is spun out by Kenhold in the corner. The drop pass to Semak. That doesn't come out front, and both teams now having the opportunities. The Swedes flipping it in as Matt Sundin goes in after Miranov. Spun around the boards. The puck sails out to the blue line. Lomakin gets it across the red. Both teams getting a quick change. Nemchinov is squeezed out of the play. Anderson picks it up. Along the boards, Johansson chases Kravchuk. Makarov. 32-year-old gets it up and gives it right away to Johansson. Trefilov gets a tip. Approaching the two-minute mark in the, in the period, Kozlov gave that away. And right now, the Soviets look a bit shaky, giving away one or two uh, passes in their own zone. Very uncharacteristic for them. They're using razor sharp right from the face-off. Kozlov with a full face mask, fighting along the boards. And if the last game that these two teams played against uh, each other is any indication, this will be a humdinger. 5-5 five, five is the score then. Ten goals were scored, and that's given to Berkvist. Takes the shot, scores! Jonas Berkvist jumping into the air. The crowd is on their feet going wild. The Swedes have struck first. know that they're in the gold medal position right now as Bergfist unleashes the shot. Trefilov can't come up with it and the Swedes have the 1-0 lead. Richard Trefilov didn't even see this. Look, he looks the other way and then back. Kazatanov is right in front of him and that's a screen. Well, that puck partially deflected off Kazatanov's stick. Trefilov not to be blamed on that goal. So right now, the Swedes are looking at gold, the Canadians silver, and the Soviets bronze, but hey, this has got a long way to go. Along the boards, the tip all the way down the ice. The Tisov hammers that off the woodwork. That takes a deflection into the circle. Bergfist gets it right out front. Carlson takes a hit. Bergfist goes in after it. The Tisov is there to come up with a puck. The Tisov. Big and strong, muscles his way from Berkfist and then eventually throws it to the far side. 3.07 gone in the first period. Miranov, Biakin, Butsayev, the fourth line is out there, and I hate to say fourth line when you see the Soviets because they're all as good as each other. Mats Naslin winds up, takes the shot, oh, and this time Trefilov gets the pad on it. Biakin gives it up. Kenneth Kenholt. A long shot into the corner. Naslin tips it back in. Hack and Lube is there. Miranov wins that and shoots it all the way out to the blue line. 
back on the attack. Beekoff takes a shot and that whistles by the far post. That really was close. Good stuff from both teams. It's wide open. Both goaltenders are being tested. Well, how many times have you seen a final in a sport where the best teams in the world have come together and it really hasn't come to much at all? This is not the case here. They're really going at it. They're going for gold. Konstantinov gets it up to Pavel Berda. Berda winds up, fakes the shot. Poke check there by Rundqvist, but Berda hangs on to the puck. Berda is double teamed, and that goes to the far point. Samuelson gets a touch on that, and Berda goes up against him. Matt Sundin brings it out slowly. His pass is not a good one. Bikov, Kamensky tipped it in. 1-0 the score, still in the first period. Bikov, a good job of intercepting that. Kazatanov works it up. On the wing. Pavel Boda fed it to Bikov. Right in front, the shot again takes a deflection. It's good skating, good passing. Nobody wants to give up an inch. That shot from Bikov just whistling by that far post. Bikov, Kamensky, and Pavel Boda. The awesome threesome for the Soviet Union. It used to be Krutov, Makarov, and Larionov. That's all changed now. It's very rare that you see the Soviets fall behind in a game. They usually take over right from the start. And in this tournament so far, it's been very rare that the Swedes jump out to an early lead. They've been playing catch-up hockey, coming back in the late stages of the game and winning most of theirs. Janssen deflects that Lomakin pass. That's allowed to come out. The shot there, Ritterwall makes the save. It's still loose. Nemchinov crews right in there. The Swedes were standing around and watching the puck. And Nemchinov said, hey, I'll take a shot. So noisy in this arena. Every time the puck goes to the goal, there's people yelling and screaming, there's a chance for Nemchinov. Ritterwall does really well just to keep his body in front of the puck. His concentration is there. He doesn't take his eye off it and manages to pounce on it. They're still having problems getting the puck to Ritterwall. That was Eklund trying to feed it back to him. Kravchuk takes the shot. Ritterwall makes the save. Batisov. Semak, a one-timer. That hit the side of the net as it was passed back out. Nemchinov doing a great job on this shift. Now he's tied up by Eklund. Semak is waiting for the loose puck. Janssen picks it up. Goes for a skate, trying to shape Lomakin. Lindstrom runs interference, and that's passed up on the left wing. Tipped in past Kusadov. Petisov this time runs interference. Garpenlov doing some forechecking. Rumpfist can't keep it in. Semak, always dangerous, takes the shot. Kali Johansson had something to say about that. That's tipped right in front, but look at the number of yellow shirts there. Ken holds. Johansson. The Soviets go all the way down and chase that one as the icing whistle blows. You can see that the Soviets aren't going to wait till late in the game to try and come back into this one. They're going all out. They're really being aggressive on the forecheck. And they want to get the first goal immediately and proceed from there. Still a lot of ice hockey to come here on Eurosport. This was fly from Turku and Finland. Schutz, the linesman, picking up a fresh puck. Zamov goes out there with Kozlov and Makarov. Zamnov loses that, and Kenhold for Sweden collects. Back to Kenhold. Up on the left wing now, the Swedes throwing everyone over the blue line. Berkvist takes the weak shot. Trefilov handles that and gives it to Kravchuk. Still with Kravchuk. 
A nice little pass forward to Makarov. This guy can move. The pass back. The shot coming from Zamov. Makarov picks it up. Mirnov takes the shot. Some good defensive work there by Anders Carlson as he came out into the butterfly position to knock that shot down. Makarov, still Makarov, dropping it back again, looking for the man in the slot. Moranov takes the shot. That took a deflection. Zamnov got a piece of that. Kravchuk punches it in. The Soviets really have come back strong after Bergfist caught that first goal. Kent Hold takes a hammering on the boards. That goes all the way down the ice, and we'll have another icing call. We're going to take a short break. There's the scoreline. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the action here in Turku. Sweden still lead this one one to nil. The face-off in the corner with Vikov out there. Rungfist got the tip. Konstantinov puts it up to the red line. Bartolmov shoots it all the way in. Ritterwall gets it up to the hash marks. Sundin. A long pass to the far side. Too hard for Rungfist, but he eventually brings it down. He's out there with Lube. Has to give it up. And the Soviets, Biakin, giving the tip. Butsayev looking for Ilya Biakin. The pass didn't come, and now Hakan Lou breaks down the right wing to Rungfist. Rungfist being shadowed all the way. That comes to the side, and Fetisov picks it up. Some interference there on Rungfist. Fetisov allowed to go forward. Dropping it back to Pavel Buda. Watch this guy motor. Bikov. Pavel Buda, still only 20 years old, who sought off a long pass up. Plays out there like a seasoned veteran. Pushed to the far side. And Buda, with the score one to nil, Buda dropped to the ice. Sundin is on him. Another 20 year old out there, and this game is really making way for the youngsters. There's also room for the boys over 30. Remember, whoever wins the game wins the gold medal. Kusadov looking for Bikov. That's too far for him. Lidstrom. A draw, of course, is no good to either team. The Canadians would then take the gold. They beat the Americans earlier on. Bikov now goes in. Bikov with a nice little move. Right in on goal. Takes a shot. There's going to be a penalty on the plate. To the far side. The Swedes touch the puck and the whistle blows. Michaela very clear on the call. A lot of action going on away from the play. The Swedish supporters get quiet for a minute. And it's their man going to the box. 33-year-old veteran Gustafsson makes his way for interference. Will that open the door for the Soviets? They'll have the man advantage for the next two minutes. Coach Connie Evanson, nicknamed the goal coach, taking notes on the bench. Will he be the goal coach? Only if the Swedes win this game. That comes out to the circle. Still kept in. Semek calling for it. Lomakin picks it up. Being shadowed there by Johansson. Nemchinov picks it up. Nemchinov takes his place in front of the goal. Semak gets the pass. He's got Miranov back here. Kravchuk over there. Going in on the back. It's a match in the net. Semak put it between the pads. And Ritterwald can't believe it. I don't think Ritterwald was expecting the shot. The Soviets once again showing that whoever's on the ice plays the power play. They don't have any favorites. They can all do the work. Good play by Semak to control that puck. Pulls it up. He's on the backhand. There he is. Takes a look. Right through the legs of Ritterwall. He's not even expecting a shot. Not even looking. He's not set. And he's beaten cleanly. Nobody 
So that makes the score level at one apiece. And right now, the Canadians who are sitting up in the stands are cheering madly. They're in the gold medal position. They want this game to end in a draw. Kozlov out there with Zemnov and Makarov. Samuelson pumps that to the far side. A long shot. Trefilov handles Janssen's uh, slap shot easily. Kozlov with the full face mask on gets it to the far side to Kazatanov. Over the blue line, Zamnov works into the corner with him. That's given to Kozlov. And again, we see the Swedes standing around. They're going to have to get the rack together. They've stopped moving. They came out flying. Pack and Lou, or rather number 22, Berglund shot it in. The Soviets took a couple of minutes to get themselves together. Now Lube takes it off of Makarov. Lube drops it back. The shot. The save is a great one off Naslin. Trefilov really did stretch out and make that save. Flip to the far side. Lundqvist takes the shot. The rebound is right in front. Naslin couldn't get a handle on it. The backhand shot was weak and wide. And Konstantinov quickly gets it up to Kozlov. And he can't hold that. Icing is a call. Two of the experienced, classy players from the Swedes doing a good job there. Naslin and Lube. They've been around for a long time and they really made things happen here. Runkfist with that shot. Lube and Naslin are all over the ice, giving the Soviets all kinds of trouble in their defensive zone. 11.25 gone in the first period. You can see in the background the Turku wave. And they've been doing that since day one. Excellent crowds throughout this tournament. No matter who was playing or at what time, well supported by the Finns and the various other nationalities that have come here to witness this great spectacle on ice. Sweden with the lob right on to Trefilov's stick. The whistle blows as Kusanov picks it up. Soviets doing a good job right at the blue line, pushing the Swedish forward off sides. The puck was dumped in, but the linesmen were right on the call. There's the backhander. Up in the top of your screen, you see the Swede being forced over the blue line ahead of the play. Approaching now the 12-minute mark, Tikhanov giving instructions. This guy has been around a long time. He knows the game inside and out. Some say he invented the game. He really does eat, sleep, and breathe ice hockey. Ken Holt. That's a bouncing puck. Difficult to contain. It comes up to Kamensky on the hash marks. He gives it to Bikoff. Up to Pavel Berta. Berta. The pass over for Kamensky was too far for him. And Sundin now starts out. Kamensky rides him out of the boards. Kravchuk goes in. Gustafsson gets the tip on that all the way down the ice. Mironov collects. It's interesting to talk about some of Tikhanov's strategies. He's got Makarov, number 24, the veteran who's 32 years old, playing with two kids whose combined age is 38. He's playing with a 20-year-old and an 18-year-old in Zamnov and number 9, Kozlov. They've done a great job. Makarov is giving these kids the kind of experience that they need. Bikov, Gustafsson. Gustafsson wins that one, gives it to Johansson. Pavel Boda stays on him. That comes all the way back to the blue, and it's kept in by Moranov. Pavel Boda again. Sundin goes in to help out. Gustafsson is there, getting chippy along the boards. Moranov trying to call for a face-off. That comes back to the blue line. The shot is well wide as Ken Holt picks it up. Johansson, Kali Johansson feeds it nicely to Gustafsson. Sundin puts it back into uh, Gustafsson and Mironov collects for the Soviet Union. Sundin trying to get a handle on it. Mironov shoots it out of the zone. Good safe thing for Mironov to do there as the Soviets were stumbling just to get it out of the zone. Nemchinov is taken out of the plate. Eklund goes in. That comes right out front to Garpenlov. A good little pass to Sundin. 
Sundin being trailed by Garpenlov. The pass intended for Eklund doesn't go anywhere near him. And Nemchinov breaks for the Soviet Union. The shot wide of the target. That bounces high. Kazatanov got a piece of that. Anderson along the boards. The Soviets putting the pressure on as Eklund throws the rink-wide pass to an open wing. Johansson gets there to collect. Johansson, a chance to get the shot away. That took a deflection and ends up in the corner. Back at the blue to Samuelson. He puts the stick up on uh, Lomakin as that was deflected into the corner. Eklund. This is one heck of a fast game. They haven't stopped skating since the first face-off to get the play underway. It's a 1-1 tie right now as Lomakin circles back, being shattered by Johansson. Anderson goes after him, but Lomakin keeps moving. It takes three Swedes to bring him down. Samuelson passes it forward. A long shot from Berglund. Well wide and high. Berglund goes in to pick it up. Taps it back. Zamnov stays on him. The Soviets breaking now. Makarov tips it to Benesov. Oh, that was brilliant. Ritterwald slid across to make the save. Batisov was right there, set up by Makarov. Batisov reading the play, breaks all the way up, even being a defenseman, he knows he's got offensive strength. Lovely touch from Makarov just to direct the puck over to him. So quick, bang, bang, and there it is. Ritterwald does well to keep it out. Makarov there, so aware that Fatisov was running up on his left side. Uh, Makarov has an extra sense. He always knows where his players are every time he's on the ice, no matter where he is. Berglund, the Deer Garden center, will do the honors against Zemnov. Makarov, Fatisov. Bergfist takes his man out just for a moment. That comes right back to the point. The shot comes in. That's wide of the target. Kusadov really got the wood onto that one. Kozlov. Makarov. Bergfist try to get it away from Makarov. He tips it through to Kozlov and Janssen will get there first. Janssen shoots it off the boards. That stays in the zone. Kusadov. Back to Kusadov. He takes the shot. And again, Ritterwall comes up with a big save. Oh, Kusarov came out with the guns loaded on this shift. He's had two or three shots. There he is going over to the box to take his place and get a rest. Both teams, Richard, have obviously been told to come out shooting. This has been the strategy. They're shooting from all angles. The Soviets usually take a long time to set it up, wait for the big one. This time they're shooting, as I said, from all angles. This will keep the goalies on their toes, and it also means the defensive. Got to clear the men away from the front of the net. The goalie doesn't mind a long shot as long as he can see it. The loose puck collected by Kelly Johansson. Hack and Lube into the far corner. Coming up to the 16-minute six, mark as number six picked it up. Biakin, he lost control of it. The return pass up to Hack and Lube. Lube now going in on the backhand side. Looking for someone to pass. He takes the weak shot. Trafila really didn't know where that one was coming from. Rumpfist. Kravchuk is all over him. That goes into the corner. Butseyev brings it out nicely. Vilyakin couldn't get that one as Ken Holt got in the way. And things start to get rough. Play continues. Vilyakin with Butseyev. Vilyakin takes the shot. The loose puck is right there. And number 22, Butsayev was trying to tip it in while he was sitting on top of the goalie. Rumpfist to Kelly Johansson. Offside is the call. A close call there. This is the medal round as it stands right now. If this game ends in a draw, the Canadians would win gold, the Swedes would win silver, and the Soviets bronze. The goal difference for the Canadians being superior. They've got that five goal difference. The Swedes four and the Soviets two. That's if it ends right now, but this one is far from over. There's a lot of time left and both teams are really trying to push the puck toward the goal. It's starting to get closer on the checking side of things. The men are really being taken out at the blue line and that's why we're seeing the long shots. Guys getting in the way with the wingers trying to go for the rebounds. 
Konstantinov to Bikov. Kamensky and Pavel Goder are out there. Samuelson gets it away from Bikov. Konstantinov is in there to assist. Kamensky against Matt Sundin. A pair of 13s and now uh, a little help there from Gustafsson for the Swedes. The loose puck batted out to Sundin. Sundin goes down. A one-on-one -on -one situation. He takes the shot and Trefilov makes the save. The return shot is right there. And again, we see Trefilov falling to his knees and not being totally aware of where that puck is. We'll go back to your comment about these players being instructed to shoot before Trefilov took a breath of relief from making the save off Sundin. That rebound was coming at him from the boards at a sharp angle, and that could have been a goal. Trefilov is a good goaltender, but he's not an Archer Herb. And I think if you're going to say there's a weak link in the chain, it has to be the goaltender. I hope for his sake he proves me wrong. But on a couple of occasions in this tournament, he has looked shaky. Gustafsson for the Swedes and the encroachment on the left-hand side of your screen. The Swedes are being told, get out of the circle as Bikoff wins that one. Kazatanov along the boards to Kamensky. Samuelson bear hugs him into the uh, plexiglass. Samuelson gives it up and Sundin loses it to Kazatanov. Kamensky puts it right in front of his own goal. Some nice stuff as Bikoff picks it up. Bikoff heads up hockey looking for Burra. Bikoff trying to get around Samuelson. Burra is there and the Swedes getting back with four players in the corner to help out. Gustafsson, the big center iceman, goes in and takes charge with Pavel Burra. Pavel Burra gets the puck. Burra skating nicely, looking for someone to pass to. Burra is brought to the ice. Bikoff goes in after it. Anderson goes in after him. That's cleared away as far as the blue line. And the Soviets keep it in. Now the Swedes collect and bring it out. A two-on-two -two situation. Sundin picks up the loose puck. He's working with Victorson. Sundin trying to bring it out front. The Swedes now with an opportunity. Johnson. Sundin wraps it up. The net is knocked off its moorings. Michaela is telling them to calm down. A lot of action around the front of the goal. Michaela doing the right thing, just getting the whistle when the goal came off and telling everybody to cool down. Not overreacting, not doing anything foolish. It's just good, tough body contact here. Everybody's covering a man. Kusarov is all over Matt Sundin. They slide into the goal, and it does come off. Trefilov loses his balance. Sundin takes a little swing at Trefilov. He doesn't want to know because he knows he's got help. Kusarov comes in to let Sundin know that that's not on. It's nice to see that the referee is letting this one flow. Less than two minutes on the clock. Moranov bounced that off the plexi. It only got as far as the hash marks and will have another face-off. Both teams really coming back deep and helping out defensively. The centers are right back in the corners to help out their defensemen to make sure the zone is cleared properly. The Swedes scored first with Bergfist. And then Semak on a power play for the Soviet Union leveled the score. So it's one apiece. Janssen. Johansson loses it right on the hash marks, brings his man down. And there's going to be a penalty on the play. The crowd reacts, but there's no doubt about it. Johansson had lost the puck, took his man out illegally, and he'll pay the price. There's Johansson along the boards. He's poked, checked off the puck. Gets his stick in the legs of his uh, player who's just stripped him of the puck, and he goes for hooking. Two minutes, the penalty, and this will go into the second period because there's less than two minutes to go on the clock here. One and a half to be exact. The Soviets now with the power play. Working it out. Big number 16. Konstantinov 
takes it into the corner. Zamnov is out there trying to get it out front to Kozlov. Anderson came up with the uh, rescue attempt right behind the goal. Good play from Peter Anderson to smother the puck. So look at Zamnov. Young kid getting a lot of valuable ice time in this tournament. You talked earlier on, Richard, about Tikhanov, the coach of the Soviet Union, sticking with who's ever on the ice or who's ever turn it is to go out. He's got the kids out there with Makarov in probably one of the most important situations. It's a power play, the end of a period, a chance to go two to one up, and he's going with the youngsters. That comes back to Konstantinov. The shot steered away. Still kept in and trickles out. Rumpfist goes after it. Hack and Lube doing a great job with one minute on the period. Konstantinov tapping it forward to Kozlov. Makarov sets it up. This guy likes to throw it around. He's never too anxious to take the shot. Konstantinov with Kazatanov. Makarov to the far side. The one-timer Ritterall made the save on Kozlov. Makarov to Kozlov, time ticking down, 29 seconds on the clock. The penalty, as I said, will go into the next period. Konstantinov winds up, that takes a deflection wide. Zamnov picks it up. Kozlov. Makarov. Zamnov moves into position in front of the goal. Makarov on the far side on the hash marks. He takes up position in front. Four seconds, three seconds on the clock, and the whistle blows. Samuelson doing his job in front of the goal, taking his player out. They end up in the crease. The whistle quickly blows, as we've seen that happen many times throughout the tournament. The faceoff will go outside the zone. Some of the action, that tip earlier off that shot from Konstantinov, that could have been dangerous. Three seconds on the clock, 30 seconds on the Swedish penalty. So there will be 27 seconds on the penalty when we return in the second period. There goes the buzzer to end the first period. 20 minutes of exciting end-to-end -end action. The scoreline is one-to-one. -one. The Swedes started things off with Berkvist and Ansemak replied on the power play. What a period it's been. Action-packed period, both teams going up and down the ice very hard and getting some great chances for goals. Remember they're playing for the gold, silver and bronze out there. Canada are in the gold position right now. We're going to take a short break while the teams take a break. We'll be back with more action from Finland in a moment. Welcome back as we get set for the second period. The score is Sweden 1, the Soviet Union 1. It really has been an exciting contest. We predicted that it would go right down to the final whistle. And I don't think we're going to be disappointed. There isn't a person in this rink that is anticipating one way or the other. They know it's close. It's very tight. It's everything that everyone has expected it to be. The last day, the last game, all of the medals are up for grab. Everyone enjoying themselves 100%. The Canadians are sitting in the crowd. They've done their work. Right now, they're in the gold medal position. The Canadians can win gold, and they can win silver. The Swedes can win gold, and they can win silver, but the Soviets can only win gold or bronze. It really depends on what happens today. The winner of this game would automatically win the gold medal. The loser would go down into the bronze position. Let's take a look now at the medal table as it stands right now. The Canadians are up there with four points. They've got the goal difference, five goals there, 15 and 10. The Swedes, 12 and 8, so that's a four goal plus. The Soviets, eight and te uh, 10 and 8, rather. That's a two goal plus, and the USA are out of it. So the Canadians are hoping for a tie. The Swedes then would come second, and the Soviets third. That's what it's all about. The Canadians can only watch. Their fate is in the hands of this game that's going on right now. An interesting finish here in store, I'm sure. The Swedes are here in force with their funny outfits. 
I've heard of the Coneheads, but I don't know what that group calls themselves. They're sitting near the Runkfist fan club. I don't know if Runkfist is associated with them at all. The Swedes are bringing themselves out onto the ice. Trefilov has been sharp at times, but has been downright shaky at times, but he's kept the puck out, only allowed one goal from Burkfist. The Swedes have won four gold, 13 silver, and 10 bronze over the years. They want to improve on that. During the championships, they've won four, lost nil, and tied five. 41 goals for, 28 against. Not a bad record. They're looking for their fifth gold medal. And they'll be playing from right to left. They've certainly been involved in some hair-raising games. They've given the crowd all their money's worth. They've come back two or three times to level the scores late in games to get the draws that they've got. The second period underway. The Swedes with a man in the box for 20 seconds. The Soviets with Bikov. Tipping that up to the blue line. Kamensky. And again, the Swedes get it out and all the way down the ice, so they will successfully kill off this penalty. Bikov picks it off. The Swedes are back at full strength. Buda. Buda on the right wing. Hack and Lube ended up inside the goal. Good close defensive coverage. Hack and Lube coming back to his net. He bangs together here with Kamensky. Comes off second best. Kamensky works his way around the net. Lube goes through the net. Kamensky, Bikoff, and Buda stay out there. They're up against the Runkvist Lube Naslin line. A lot of goal scoring ability between the six men we've just mentioned. Ruckfist wins that one. He really is adept at picking up that faceoff. Samuelson lost control behind the goal. Kamensky is in there fighting hard along the boards. And that comes all the way back to the blue. Trickles out by Kusadov. Bikoff wastes no time in batting it back in. Anderson. Again, only as far as the blue. Fatisov, the shot. Burda. Burda working with Bikoff. Bikoff now leaves it for Kusadov. He's poke checked by Rungfist. And the Swedes are under pressure here with 115 gone in the first period. Bikoff goes back into his own zone. He's been out on the ice for a long time. Fatisov, the long pass. Lomakin, they're starting to change the lines. Bikoff can't get off. The break now. Rungfist, Sunden. Sunden, rather, along the boards, takes a hit from Kusadov. Lomakin in there to help out. Janssen shovels it along, falls to the ice, and Sunden goes in to help out. Fatisov backhands it as far as the blue, and the Swedes intercept it right on the, uh, the boards. Bikoff still out on the ice, takes a couple of chops from Sunden. And nobody wants to pick it up, so Bikoff makes another great move. Sundin's all over him again. Very uncharacteristic for the Soviets to stay on the ice this long. Bikoff desperately trying to get himself to the bench now. It's been out a long time. The Soviets with Lomakin. Kravchuk was brought to the ice. That goes to the side, and uh, Mikhaila lets it go to Stofson. Big number 16 gets it over to Janssen. He's got Garpenlov. Garpenlov breaks. Trefilov taps it into Moranov. Gustafsson pinned him against the boards. And that flips high. We'll have a face off in Soviet, Soviet territory. The score still one apiece. Bergfist and Semak, the goal scorers. along the boards. I'm sure that both teams want to spread it out a little bit more and use the center of the ice. That's what they're both known for. There's a good opportunity going toward Ritterwald. He comes up big again. Eklund and Zamnov. Konstantinov starts to move. 
being shadowed there by Eklund. Some good stuff from Eklund as he gets on to Konstantinov. That trickles over the stick and Kelly Johansson goes deep. The long pass up onto the left wing. Too hard for Eklund. Makarov starts to go through center. Konstantinov poke checked out of the play nicely. Kazatanov collects for the Soviet Union at the blue line. Along the boards, this portion of the period has been dominated by close checking. They freewheeled in the first period with lots of shots. Zamnov along the boards, pushing and shoving, trying to kick it free. Hey! Garpimov has got the hand up on top of the head. Now play continues as that goes all the way down the ice. Kazatanov collects the long pass. The Soviets trying to get fresh legs again on the ice. Kazatanov, there aren't too many whistles out there. Konstantinov gets away from Bergfist. Konstantinov going up on the backhand side to Nemchinov. Hope check just inside the line with four minutes gone. Berglund got it over. Carlson on the backhand side. The shot, the deflection comes out and uh, Biakin clears it to Samuelson. Samuelson takes the shot. The rebound is steered behind the goal. Berglund back to Samuelson. He gets another shot at goal. Tafilov is there. The loose puck beside the goal. Berglund goes after that cleared away. Biakin takes the swipe. Bergfist now. Samuelson, the deflection, Trafilov made a great save on that. Bartolov, the break wing. Biakin takes the shot, and this time it's Ritterball's turn to shine. What action. Both goaltenders again, having to show their stuff. There's no break at all, or let up in the play. Bartolov dropped that back, and the Swedes gathered it. Shot it all the way down to Trafilov. But Tisov got it over. Lidstrom. Mats Naslin goes in, takes a poke at that. Eventually, Lindstrom comes by and helps out as Naslin gets back in the action. Kozlov giving him a hard time along the boards. Naslin showing all his experience to get away from the youngster. Naslin to the far side. Oh, that went right through him. Trofilov looks shaky on that one as that was uh, bobbling and bouncing. Kozlov tipping it forward. Fatisov, Fartolmov. Runkfist now as both teams get new players out on the ice. That took a deflection, scooted away from Hack and Lube all the way down the ice. And again, the icing whistle blows. Both teams picking their spots about line changes. They like to change on the fly, but with the action going end to end so quickly, it's being very difficult. A lot of players are getting stranded on the ice for too long. The t pass goes too far. That was the icing. There's a good shot at Biakin going in on Ritterwall again. Pass very nicely fed through from 18 for Tolmov. Ritterwall is up for the challenge. Seconds earlier, it was all going at Trafilov. 5.43 gone in the second period. Gustafsson in the face-off circle. Bikov for the Soviets. The shot. Gustafsson is right in front. Takes a poke at it, and Trafilov has the puck underneath him. Some great action there around the Soviet goal here in the second period, and this is the man who came up big. There's Gustafsson right in on the goal. Victorson's there, Sundin's there. Trafilov comes flying back across. He looks like a beach whale, and he's trying to get himself back into the play. There's Victorson, Sean, he's down, he's out, watch him recover, and he dives back the other way, makes the save of his life on that play. Beekoff loses the draw, but picks up the puck and hands it right to Sundin. Sundin gets it back to the blue, the shot comes in, and again, Trefilov makes the save. Santinov and Victorson knock the net off. Shows you how tough and how tight it is out there. Every time the puck comes back to the blue line, 
this time it's Ken Holt, just directs it to the goal. There's so much action, so many bodies in front of the net, you never know what's going to happen. A deflection, a tip, hits a leg, anything could be a goal. Big Kenneth, Ken Holt, as we were saying the other night when the Swedes were playing, has that shot that goes just slightly under 100 miles an hour. The hardest shot on the Swedish team. Can you imagine not seeing that coming from the blue line? You've got two or three guys in front of you. Next thing you know, there's a piece of rubber, three by one, sailing at you at 100 miles an hour. Not a pretty sight for a goaltender. I think if you're going to get hit by his shot, you're better off not to know that it's coming. Let it just put you out of your misery. 1-1 one, one the score. And it's still anyone's game, anyone's gold medal. If it ends like this, the Canadians will collect the gold by sitting up in the stands by virtue of their victory over the Americans. And that five-goal difference, that's an offside play. Big Kenneth Kenholt, as we said, with that rocket of a shot, 26 years old, plays for Deer Garden. The Soviets, an impressive uh, record, 22 gold, 7 silver, 4 bronze. They've won 7, lost nil in this championship, tied two games, 50 goals, 4, so they know how to put them in the net, 23 against. But no matter what you put up on the stats cards, it really doesn't have any effect on this game. It's all about what they do in the 60 minutes they're out on the ice, but Tisov gives that one back. Beekoff taken out nicely by Johansson. Eklund comes in to help out. Eklund trying to get around the big defenseman, Fatisov, and he can't do that. Johansson has a trip at it now, and he's taken out of the play. Fatisov doing some great work in the neutral zone. Kamensky to the far side of the rink. Kusadov, Fatisov, these two work well together. Both now playing in the NHL. Uh, NHL. Up on the boards, too far for anyone. Batisov with New Jersey. Kusadov with Quebec. And Kazatanov also with New Jersey. So there's three defensemen who got the benefit of NHL experience. Before they left for the NHL, they were quite good as they were, of course. They were all team leaders with their respected Soviet sides. They've gone over for the international experience and they've held their own. Anders Carlson against Zamnov. Malakhov gets as far as the blue line and Kravchuk will have to go back for the Soviets. Kravchuk along the boards. Carlson comes way back to help out. That's the kind of thing the Swedish defense will appreciate. Lidstrom along the boards. No one there except for Kravchuk. He shoots it back in. Nicholas Lidstrom, the long pass given to Carlson. Carlson tees it off, takes the shot. That goes off the defense. The shot coming in now from 18. Bergfist looking for his second goal of the game. But Trefilov had something to say about that. Once again, it's all about shooting the puck. So much action around the front of the goal. It doesn't have to be a teed up slap shot. All it's got to be is directed toward the goal. There's an example. That's a wrist shot from Bergfist. There's gloves going out. There's legs in the way. There's sticks there. These shots can be a nightmare for a goaltender. Trefilov does well to get a view of that one. 7.47 gone in the second period. 1 1 the score. Bergfist. Loses out there, and Kazatanov being checked by Naslin. Not before he gets the puck up to the far side, and the Soviets breaking hard now. Verde dropping it back. Trying to work his way out in front of the goal was Kozlov. Hack and Lou now brings it back quickly. Lou to Rumpfist, the tip in. Naslin tries to get it all the way around. It slows down and it's picked up by Lou. Johansson, the big defenseman. Not a good pass from him as he tried to get it to Runkfist. 
Lube pops it back in, but that won't be for long as the Soviets bring it out now. Rungfist takes a swipe there at number 22, Butsayev, but he gets it to the far side to Fartolmov. Ken Holt. Johansson. The long pass right up center. Kozlov being shadowed there. Semak picks it up. The Soviets break over the blue line. Anderson goes after his man. Semak spins himself right out of the play. Anderson now poke checked and that ended up on another Soviet stick. The Soviets with Nemchinov, Semak out there. And now it's Kabartolmov. There's going to be a penalty on the play. Semak can't believe it when he put the grab on Victorson. Just long enough for the referee to make the call. Michaela doesn't like what he sees. The Swedes will have the power play. Welcome back. The score is still level here in the second period. Semak is in the box for holding, so it's a power play situation for the Swedes as that goes all the way down the ice and the Swedes throw on new players in this power play situation. Ken Holt, we're halfway through the match and the Canadians are just 30 minutes away from a gold medal. If the score remains the same, the Canadians will get the gold, the Swedes the silver and the Soviets the bronze. Janssen. And of course, one goal to either side will change all that. The winner, if there is a, an outright winner, would get the uh, gold and the loser the bronze. Kamensky up along the boards, he gets it out and Lidstrom with 32 seconds on the penalty. Lidstrom shoots it in. The Soviets have been so quick to get this puck out of their zone, it's been difficult for the Swedes to mount any kind of pressure on this power play. Kamensky gets it into neutral territory. Naslin now to an open wing. Miranov, 13 seconds on the penalty. All the way back to Lidstrom. Lidstrom taps it in. Runkvist back to Lidstrom. Back to Runkvist. Runkvist rather, uh, Lube to Runkvist now. Right out front. Naslin couldn't get a good shot away. Lube picks it up. He takes the shot. That hit a skate. Kravchuk had his back to the plate. Beekoff. The crowd yelling for a penalty as Kravchuk put the grab on Runkvist. Kamensky. Semak. The Soviets back at full strength. Kamensky works his way in against Janssen and Lidstrom. Johansson goes up against Makarov. A chance now for the Soviets. Semak Kazatanov. Kamensky still out there. Makarov loses that. The weak shot is steered away by Ritterwald and Kamensky again in the corner. Johansson. Lidstrom will try to get this out as both teams try to get a line change with 12-17 gone in the period. Both teams are changing. The Swedes dump it in and will go for it with fresh legs out on the ice. Eklund kicks it along the boards. Johansson trying to get it out. He's got Garpenlove waiting. Garpenlove or Anderson rather picks it up. Eklund goes for a skate. Taken out by Kazatanov. Johansson. Kazatanov. The Soviets now breaking with three players forward. Samuelson bats it back. Eklund picks it up. Eklund drops it back. And a good little move there by Konstantinov to play goaltender. Samuelson traps that against the boards. Biakin is all over him. 13 minutes now gone in the second period. Kazatanov. Again, Samuelson roughs it up on the blue line. A long shot from Zamnov goes into the far corner. The race is on. That clears the red line, and icing is the call. Swedes taking the icing call. Once again, trying to get a fresh line on the ice. They're in the middle of the change. 
They'll now complete the change, as will the Soviets. The going is tough and the checking is getting closer. The players are getting more tired. They're going to be getting quicker changes. Action earlier, a good save from Moranov to block that puck on its way to the goal. The face-off in Swedish territory, and that comes back to Kusanov. Kusanov gives it off to Bartolov, and he's poke-checked at the last minute. And we're going to have another penalty on the play. Holding is the call. Michaela watching it all the way. Things are tough around the front of the goal and on these face-off circles. Look at some of this action. Holding, grabbing, going on. 22, Berglund was being tied up in front. Utsaya was involved. He'll go two minutes for holding. Zayev had a good grip on the stick. The Swede couldn't get away from him. Michaela caught him. Connie Evanson there picked up a couple of titles with Farjestad in the Swedish Elite League. And they're hoping that by make him, making him the coach, he'll do the same for the Swedish national team. Naslin gets it over. And we have another penalty on the play, and it's almost like Michaela is a school teacher out there. He looks at Janssen, he says, naughty boy, I just caught you. Sure does make a meal out of that one. Big smile on his face. Come here, Mr. Janssen, I want to have a word with you. He's going to the box for holding. Thomas Janssen just sort of smiled and couldn't believe it. With a look on Michaela's face, Janssen really couldn't get mad at him. Well, it did guilty of grabbing the stick again a lot of that goes on but you have to do it undercover if you're going to do it at all you really want to make sure your back is to the referee and you've got your hand in front of you hanging on to the stick that was pretty obvious so the teams will have one man apiece in the box the Tisov with the 5 o'clock shadow 32 years old really has been an outstanding player for the Soviet Union and now the New Jersey Devils Semak tapping that through to Zamnov he's brought down but the big wave off by Michaela indicates play on and the Swedes do just that Lou gets away from Semak in the first attempt Lube gets it over Grunkvist now a chance to shoot he does the save is there the rebound comes out Lube still has the puck looking for Rumpfist, the puck is picked up and it's all the way back to the blue line and again Trapilov gets a piece of it Johansson pumps out into the corner, Rumpfist lets it ride Lou bats it back, intended for Rumpfist, Kusanov picks it out and gets it out the break is on, Johansson goes after his man Semak playing for time in the slot area Ken Holt goes after Fetisov and hits him into the boards that's cleared out. Runkvist goes after Krabschuk. A lot of chasing out there for both teams. Bikoff steps on the ice. He's out there with Kamensky, who runs into Ken Holt. Right in front, Fatisov couldn't get the tip. Sundin takes uh, Bikoff out of the plate. And that goes all the way down the ice with just a few seconds remaining on each penalty. Once again, good action. Trefilov does well to keep Rungfist and Hacken Lube away from getting a goal. Then the Soviets put some pressure on of their own with Fasitov playing as an extra forward. Kamensky got that one through to Ritterwall. He decides that he'll hang on to it. Bikoff was floating around. And I said earlier on that Trefilov, the goaltender for the Soviet Union, was possibly the weak link in the chain. But I also said, I hope he proves me wrong, and he's doing just that. He really is playing outstanding ice hockey. I think he heard you, Paul. He's putting in an outstanding performance. There's a big save. There's the rebound. What a reflex to get the pad out on Hacken Lube's second chance here. Rumpfist with the first shot. There's Lube getting a piece of the second one. 
Soviets were very disorientated at that point, scrambling around, all kinds of pressure on them. In 13 seconds, the Soviets will have the power play for five seconds. Less than five minutes on the clock in this second period. It really has been close. Well, you can't get much closer than a 1-1 scoreline. Sundin shoots that all the way around. Gutseyev jumps on the ice. Two seconds now on the Soviet power play. Gutseyev takes the shot. Oh, and a great save by Ritterwald. Sundin picks it up and works his way forward. The Swedes are back at full strength. Gutseyev goes after his man. Sundin is hit hard, and Makarov gathers that for the Soviets in his own zone and brings it forward. He's got the Yakin, drops it back, the return pass right in front, the weak shot, Samuelson goes after Biakin. Samuelson, the Swedish joker, he's the one who likes to play the tricks, let's go the shots, or the shot rather, as Johansson picks it up in the corner. Eklund, Eklund right in front, the rebound came back in. That took a deflection. Lidstrom takes a chop. Bartolmov gives it out and Garpenlov collects. Garpenlov shoots it in. Biakin was all over him and Kazatanov now bounces it off the boards. Biakin goes for a change as he gives it to Bartolmov. Takes the shot from a ridiculous angle. That goes well over the net and it's batted right back in by Semak. Kusadov shoots that as far as the hash marks as we approach the 17 minute mark of the period. Victorson takes the shots. Trefilov goes down on his knees to make the save. The Soviets bringing everyone forward and the Swedes getting everyone back. Fatisov takes the chop but he gets that up and the Soviets now breaking. Some good stuff there from Janssen as he took the stick right off Kozlov. Really, Kozlov couldn't go any further. That comes back. The shot comes in. Fatisov got a piece of it. Fatisov is knocked to the ice. And the Swedes now break. Carlson flipping it in to the goaltender. They go for a change on the Swedish side. Berglund gets it back. That shot from the point misses the goal. And Naslin gets round uh, Malakhov along the boards as far as the point. Naslin picks it up in the corner. Still, it's Naslin coming up to the two-minute mark. Two minutes remaining in the period. Rumpfist gets away from Goethe. Malakhov takes it away from Hack and Lube. Lube stays on him. And Rumpfist has to go into the neutral zone to pick it up. A nice little pass to Lube. He drops it back. A quick shot there from Kelly Johansson. That's batted down. A clever move there by Lomakin. He didn't want to touch that. The whistle would have blown. Play continues with Fatisov picking it up. Kelly Johansson skates after that. Ritterwall gets it. And Bikoff lets it ride to the D. The long shot. Going for that empty goal, but Ritterwall got back quickly. Icing is the call. Both benches are being very alert. The team's changing very quickly. They make sure that they're changing when their side is on the offense. Really getting tight. The body being taken all over the ice. Still one to one. That's the score line. It's going to be a great third period, so don't go away. Michaela goes over to let Tikhanov know you've got one chance to get your lines sorted out. After that, keep them on the bench. Gustafsson into the face-off circle. That's pushed away. Makarov. Sundin. Gustafsson. The shot. An easy one. Coming from Kenholtz. And a bit of rough stuff beside the goal. 
nothing very serious. And look at the shiner there on Samuelson. That guy's about nine foot nine. Who could get up that high to hit him? Both teams making sure that they're well sorted out for these face-offs. They're so critical. Got a tie game. Nobody wants to lose a face-off in the defensive zone. Zamnov won that one. Konstantinov picks it up with one minute on the period. That shot all the way down the ice. Over the red line. No whistle on the play. And Sundin is dumped to the ice. Play continues. Gustafsson gets it over. And the Swedes, with Anderson taking a chop at it. Sundin runs into his man. You can see how close checking it is. Victorson lost that. Zamnov drops it back. That took a deflection. 30 seconds on the period. Kazatanov taps it forward to Makarov. He gets it over to the left wing. Miranov shoots it in. He knows there's only 20 seconds on the clock. Anderson goes after his man with 15 seconds now on the period. Anderson being tied up. Kamensky is out there now. He's dangerous. Kamensky is dropped to the ice. Gustafsson goes after him without a stick. Three seconds on the period. A chance perhaps for a quick shot. The shot came and the save was there from Ritterwall to end the period. A great period end-to-end -end action. And they're not leaving the ice yet. The Soviets won. The Swedes won. The team's playing it tough right to the break. And they're certainly having to go even after the whistle's gone. They both want to win this game. They've got 20 minutes left to sort out the gold if they stay like this. The Canadians who are sitting in the, fa in the stands will win the gold medal. We're going to take a break as the players take a break. We'll be back. Welcome back to Turku, Finland. The Swedes won, the Soviet Union won. And the crowd are enjoying this one. They really are. We're looking at some more highlights from the two periods already gone by. The action again with Runkvist, Trefilov coming up big. Trefilov again getting his pad on it. And he really has closed the door on the Soviets. The teams getting set to come out. Here they come. Trefilov makes his way to the ice and they're looking calm and cool. It's a 1-1 scoreline, really anyone's game. But I know the Canadians are hoping it stays like this because if it stays a draw, they will pick up the gold medal. The Soviet result so far, 3-1 over the Swiss. They beat the Germans 7-3, the Finns 3-0, 12-2 hammering over the USA, the Canadians 5-3, the Czechs 6-2. Good game for the Swedes there, 5-5, USA 6-4, and again, another draw. The Canadians this time, three goals apiece. So it really has been a good run for the Soviets. The Swedes beat the Germans 8-1, they drew with the Finns 4-4, they drew with the Americans 4-4, over the Swiss in a hard one 4-3, they beat the Czechs 2-1, they drew again with the Canadians 3-3 in the medal round after drawing with them the first time, they drew with the Soviets 5-5, an 8-4 victory over the USA. It's all down to the final 20 minutes of play. 20 minutes and that's a long time in ice hockey it certainly is it's right down to the final period the gold medal of course can go one of three ways the Canadians have it right now if the score remains the same the Canadians as I said can win gold and silver the Swedes can win gold and silver but the Soviets can only win gold and bronze the Soviets playing from right to left. Fetisov, the long pass, looking for the quick break. Icing is the call. Anybody can have this. It's going to be tight checking in this period. Both coaches, I'm sure, have told their players, let's not sit back. Let's take our men out, make our chances happen, and go hard for rebounds. 
no one wants to wait until the um, playoffs next year in Czechoslovakia. They want to do it now. The shot comes right in. Trefilov makes the save. Move is right there. Runkfist goes after his man. That trickles out, and the Swedes have come out flying here in the early seconds of this uh, third period. Move lost that to Fatisov, and that's batted forward to, B forward to Bikov. Into the neutral zone, a giveaway there to Fatisov. He takes it over the blue line, but there was a Soviet player trapped on the far side. Well, if you had to pick a, a game winner, Richard, who would you pick on the Swedish side to pull it out for the big yellow and blue team? This game is going to be one. I say it's going to be the Swedes, and it'll be Matt Sundin. It'll come through with another big goal for his side. What about the big red machine now? If they decide to put the puck in the net, who do you think it'll be? I'll go with young Pavel Burra. Now some straightforward talking from Richard Beaupre, shooting from the hip. Gustafsson gets that over to the right wing. Victorson couldn't bring it with him. Momakin tips it forward, looking for Nemchinov. Callie Johansson brings it back. Johansson fires that around the boards to Victorson. Victorson traps it, leaves it for Sundin. Sundin. Nice move by Sundin to get away from Muranov. Sundin with the wraparound, looking for Gustafsson. Kelly Johansson pokes that forward. That goes into the air and ends up on Victorson's stick. Victorson is brought to the ice and he gets it out front, but there's one too many red shirts there to do anything about it. Lomakin tipped it away. Lomakin right in on goal, and he's brought down by Ken Holt. Ritterwall made the save. Ken Holt having a word with Ritterwall to make sure he's okay. You can see Lomakin here as he's going to the bench shaking his head. He can't believe that the penalty wasn't called on Ken Holt. Slides into Ritterwall. I thought for sure that Michaela would call that. Ritterwell closing the door on the Soviets. Trefilov at the other end doing the same thing against the Swedes. Two quick goals in the first period, and that's all that we've seen. Makarov against Johansson. The tip forward, Eklund. Garpenlov breaks. Garpenlov right in there. And Garpenlov goes in the goal. That won't count, of course. The puck missed it completely. If you hadn't said that, I was gonna. You cannot score a goal by putting yourself in the net. Many people have tried over the years. Let's watch this again. Konstantinov, the veteran, making sure he's got his man. It's Garpenlov taking him out of the play just to make sure that pass doesn't come back through to him. This is good, tough defensive hockey. face-off in Soviet territory with Eklund and Zamnov doing the honors. Zamnov gets it back and Kazatanov picks it off, gives it to Zamnov. He bounces it off the board to Makarov. Eklund spins quickly and gets it back into the zone. Konstantinov up on the hash marks and the Soviets now breaking. Zamnov Zamnov trying to get it around. Samuelson taking two strides to every one of Samuelson. And Samuelson smothers Zamnov along the boards. The Soviets waiting until Zamnov picks himself up and dusts himself off to get out of the zone. Both teams going for the change. They're playing the body well, taking their men away from the puck. And it certainly gets tiring if someone's holding you and hooking you. They're changing quickly. Fatisov. Lost that in the neutral zone, and the Swedes pick it up with Carlson now. Carlson and Bergfist. Kamensky takes a hit from behind. Has a tan-off. Gets that away from Anders Carlson. Makarov drops it back. Kamensky tried to jump over his man. Janssen has it in his skate and backhands it out into the neutral zone. A chance now for Berglund. His shot goes aimlessly into the corner. 
3.14 gone and Bikoff comes back for the Soviet Union. The race is on. Janssen gets there after Burra. Burra drops it back. The shot is way wide of the target. Fatisov taps it back in. Kamensky being shadowed. Kamensky trying to bring it right out front. Some good stuff by number 13. That's over the line. Carlson brings it out as the delayed offside was whistled or blown down. Janssen lost it totally there. He had to go for the man. He couldn't get to the puck. And now Rundqvist comes up. Rundqvist takes the shot. Beekoff bounces, uh, bounces that off the backboards. Both teams not taking any chances here, keeping the defense way back. The long pass to Hack and Lube just doesn't click, and the icing whistle blows. Very close on that one. You can see the attempt being made here from number six, Johansson, trying to catch the Soviet defense sleeping. Hack and Lube just a bit too far for him. The coaches, the assistant coaches, the trainers on both benches walking up and down, tapping the players. Come on, come on, let's keep it going, keep it going. This game's ours. A lot of adrenaline pumping as Moranov gets it in. A lot of words being spoken. Johansson has problems getting that out of the zone. The Swedes now tapping it along the boards. Bringing it out slowly is Runkfist. Runkfist, Ken Holt tries to stay on side. Runkfist doesn't take the chance and gets it to the far side. Malakoff. Sundin goes after him. That goes back to Kelly Johansson who gets it nicely into the corner. It took a bad bounce. And Naslin to Runkfist. He spun around off the play. The puck is still in the corner. And now the Soviets bring it out. Semak is dangerous. Semak goes in, takes the shot, hits the post. Semak on the short side. Ken Holt brings it out to Naslin. Naslin, the break is on now. Hack and Lube had it bounce over his skates. And then he went for a skate. Zamnov taps it forward. 5-12 gone on the period. Lomakin right across. Ritterwall got a piece of that. Back into neutral ice. Gustafsson takes the shot. Trapilov comes up big on his key save. Makarov. He hangs on to the puck. Anderson is on him. That trickles off Kazatanov. And Biakin pushes it into the zone. Victorson off the plexi all the way down the ice. Konstantinov gets it up now to Bikov. No let up in the action as that deflects high over the blue line and Samuelson is there to collect. I don't know how these guys can go the distance, how they can take the pace. It really is non-stop stuff. They've been doing this for two weeks and they've still got 14 minutes to go. Konstantinov feeds it off. The shot comes in and that's steered away. Samuelson was right in front of his own goal. Kazatanov shoots it right back in. Ritterwald got a piece of that. The break is now on for Sundin. Sundin coming down against three uh, Soviets. The puck is taken off him. And the break now for Kibartnolov. Eklund pushes it away. These teams well fit, super disciplined, and getting changes very quickly to make sure that the players on the ice are fresh and they're able to go at this pace. Into the near corner, Eklund goes after Fatisov. A nice little lifting of the stick there to hang on to the puck. Neither team wants to move it too far. The Swedes get it back to Janssen. His shot is blocked and deflected into the corner. The Soviets double teaming the man in the corner. Garpenlov has a man out front. Garpenlov picks up his feet. That's right in front. And the Soviets now start out. The long pass. Intended for Kozlov. Thomas Janssen making sure that Kozlov wasn't going to get to the puck had it been on his stick. A good defensive move from him off the puck. Icing is the call. The situations that get dangerous, Paul, are when one team is going forward, everybody's moving. It's a near chance for them. The play breaks down and it quickly goes the other way and their players are caught forward. That's what happens, and it goes back and forth that way. It makes it so dangerous for the goaltenders. 
7-10 gone in the third period. The face-off in Soviet territory. Perhaps one of the most exciting games we've seen. Ken Holt gets a shot and that comes off Malakoff. I was about to say one of the most exciting games we've seen on this World Ice Hockey Championships from Finland. Bergfist upsets Kamensky. The Swedes happy just to flip it into the corner. Bergfist goes after it. Berglund now pokes at it. Three Swedes in the corner. Kamensky a, takes a hit there from Berglund. And that goes over to Kravchuk. Böder. Böder skating down the right wing. The puck is poked away from him and shot to the far side. Konstantinov to Böder. He can't control that. And now the Swedes flip it in. If it stays the way it is, the Canadians will win the gold, the Swedes the silver, and the Soviets the bronze. Naslin couldn't get the shot away. Brunkfist came right in and was taken away from him by Semak, who fed the pass up on the right wing. Right in front, Lomakin was there. Ritterwald got the stick out. And the goal was off its moorings once again. Michaela very alertly blows the whistle down. Good opportunity for Lomakin. A good job from 19, Anderson, just to hook him up enough to get him away from being able to cut back in. Ritterwall had to stick out for the poke check. The net comes off. Michaela alertly calls it. The faceoff is in the Swedish zone. Can't be easy for Seppo Michaela to be put on the spot, refereeing the big game. It all comes down to this one with a lot of pressure on his back. The good thing about what he's doing out there is he's, he's letting it ride, letting it flow, staying away from the silly penalties that we've seen on occasion over the past couple of weeks. The face-off in Swedish territory. Nemchinov tries to pick it up. Some physical stuff along the boards. Still the Swedes trying to bring it out eventually. Naslin gathers it, gets it to the far side. Kazatanov goes way back to pick it up and gets it by everyone on his team. Into the neutral zone. Rumpfist, the break is on for Lou. He drops it back, and why did he do that? He was looking for Naslin. Lou probably should have shot that one, elected to go for Naslin. They got nothing out of it. Lomakin, a nice little check there from Samuelson as Lou picks it up. The Swedes bringing it over slowly with Naslin to the far side. Petisov winds it up. Petisov, the quick break for Biakin, doesn't come off. That goes over to Naslin. Naslin flips it high and Kusadov picks it up on the blue line. 9.23 now gone in the period. Zamnov on the backhand. The wraparound there by Biakin goes into the far corner. And Sundin. This is the guy who's done it before. Sonnen moves in, takes the shot. That's in the net. Well, Paul, I wish I had a big bet on my prediction. There's still a long way to go, but Matt Sundin certainly hasn't proved me wrong. There he is on the right wing. An excellent move as he fakes to go into the center. Turns Batisov inside out, lets it go, it's through the legs of Trofilov, and it's a goal. Hate to blow my own trumpet, but I said if there's going to be a winner, it'll be Sweden, and it'll be Matt Sundin with the goal. I might be right. That reaction from Trofilov says it all. He walked, the pads were open, and his head went back as if to say, I don't believe I made that move. Two to one to score. But as you said, Richard, this one is far from over. Right now it stands with the Swedes in the gold medal position, the Canadians in the silver and the Soviet Union in the bronze. The Soviets won't be happy with that. Kamensky brings it into the slot. Kamensky is dropped to the ice. Miranov takes the shot. Oh, and look at that for a save by Ritterwall. Ritterwall saying, thank you, Lord. 
stuck that left arm up with the big mid on the end, and there's the puck. Happy birthday. He's got it. Pavel Bura is right there waiting for the loose puck. Wall justifying his selection to not only the team but to the placing between the pipes in this last game. Tikhanov knows that there's a lot of time left and there's nothing to get emotional about. The Swedish fans don't know that. Simak. Along the boards, Johansson, Kenho got a tip on that. Lomakin to the far side, Nemchinov, Nemchinov breaks in, tipped away by Kenho. Kelly Johansson goes after him, takes him out of the play nicely, and Eklund comes forward. Eklund, the puck is stolen off him by Lomakin, and Kenho steals the puck off of him. Great poke checking from both teams. The table looks like this as it stands. The Canadians are there with four. The Swedes are there with four. And the Soviets with four. It really is going to be close. So that comes back to Anderson. We'll forget about that table we've just seen. We'll throw it up when we've got it right. Kusadov gets it over to Makarov. He gets the wheels moving but spins in the opposite direction as Fatisov gets it on the blue line. Biakin taken out of the play but not before he gives it to Makarov. Biakin, his shot hit a skate and that comes out of the zone. Soviets doing everything they can. As soon as they get just over the blue line, though, the Swedes are doing a good job of stepping up on him. An example right there, cutting the passes off. But Tisov labeled that one to the right side. And it didn't come off. Kusadov to Biakin, kept in along the boards by Kusadov. Some pushing and shoving, one or two punches being thrown. Kusadov has got his man in a headlock, and it really does look like a free-for-all over there. Bergfist is not happy about that. Well, there were eight players involved along the boards. Kisara getting a couple of extra shots in on the head of Bergfist. No real damage. Good, tough hockey. Both guys want to have the final say. Along the boards, going deep into his own zone, Malakoff, Lube is spun around and dumped to the ice, and Michaela, let's play, continue, Janssen taps that off the boards to Hack and Lube, he puts it in, and Moranov picks it up with 12 minutes gone in the period, 8 minutes remaining, 2-1, to one. the Swedes over the Soviet Union, the Soviets fighting back, Berra taps it to Bikoff and again the wall of yellow shirts right on the blue line does the job Malakoff, the long pass, Kamensky Kamensky with Verda Verda trying to get it on his backhand side that went through his skates Kamensky can't get the handle on that, Konstantinov taps it away Bikoff Verda Two great moves by Buda. Another great move as he tries to find Lomakin. The Swedes, Gustafsson, goes to the left side. The shot. Victorsson, eventually cleared by Trefilov. End-to-end -end action, both teams changing again. You can see the Soviets trying to get a man behind the Swedish defense this time. This is the correct table. If it stays like this, the Swedes will end up with five points, the Canadians four, 
and the Soviet Union three, so it'll be gold, silver, and bronze. Forget about the last one we showed you. Five, four, and three points is how they would end up. There's the offside call, a good call by the officials. The Swedes are already celebrating in the stands, but we still have seven minutes on the clock. Lomaken tipping it forward. Too far for anyone. Kalle Johansson goes back. Johansson bounces that off the boards. Nemchinov tried to touch it and keep it in. The Soviets applying a lot of pressure as Ken Holt shoots that in. Kazatanov wants support in front of the goal. Konstantinov to Nemchinov. Lomakin. Still Lomakin. Oh, and a great move there by Gustafsson in the neutral zone. Got the elbow up a bit high, but he really did put a good check on Lomakin. The Swedes are really taking the men out. Man-to-man -man coverage. They're all coming back in full force, making it very difficult for the Soviets to mount a good attack toward the goal. Kazatanov presses his man along the boards. That's Eklund. Eklund goes for a skate, gives it to Garpenlov. The Swedes come out of the zone to kill off the offside. And Fatisov picks it up. Eklund grabs it. Eklund looking for somewhere to go with it. Zamnov is all over him. Eklund pressing it against the boards. He wants a whistle in the corner. And that squirts free to Makarov. He gives it off to Zamnov. Look at the Swedes getting back into play. Widowal, a clever tip into the corner. The Soviets trying to get a shot on goal, and they really aren't getting into the position. Uh, I just said it, Paul. The Swedes are really taking the man out well, doing a good job of keeping the Soviets away from the front of that goal, and away from getting the quality shots that they want. Janssen along the boards. Kusadov keeps it in. Makarov, the shot is right there, coming from Zamnov. Janssen, the long pass out, five minutes now on the game. Katisov goes back deep. The Soviets trail it by one. If they lose this, they'll pick up the bronze. The Swedes will get the gold and the Canadians the silver. If it ends up in a draw, Canada will celebrate up in the stands. Berglund out of the zone and the Swedes are happy just to clear it away and take the pressure off. They're changing quickly, and they're making sure that they clear the zone before they leave the zone. Kamensky took a hit there as Burrow breaks in. Janssen runs interference with his stick as that puck came out. Malakoff gives that one away. Lou can't bring it any further. Kamensky to the far side. Kamensky and Naslin rough it up. Burr, Malakoff to Burr. He's moving right in, a chance to shoot. Burr takes the shot into the goal. He's signaling there are players in the crease. That whistle went about three seconds before the shot. Kamensky not impressed with this call at all. That's my Soviet man, Paul, that I said would score. Burra, he nearly proved me right again. I couldn't be right twice in the same day. There he is on the move. So clever with the putt, knows when to shoot, when not to. Kamensky was in the crease. Michaela with a very difficult call, really sticking his neck out in this position at this time in the game, but he makes the call and it'll stand. The whistle had gone several seconds before the shot, so he knew exactly what he was doing. That's Michaela, the referee I'm talking about. Igor Dmitriev having words with Tikhanov on the Soviet bench. As we approach the 16-minute mark here, the face-off in the neutral zone, Grunkvist loses out to Semak, and Konstantinov with that familiar hunched-over style goes deep into his own zone. Naslin along the boards. The Swedes want to keep it in the zone. Grunkvist will go for a skate. He knows time is ticking down. Ken holds. The Soviets trail by one. The score is two to one. 
They have to score twice to win the gold medal. If they score once, it goes to Canada, because that would be a toy then. Nemchinov dropping it back. Still a lot of time left. Kusanov moves right in front. The net is wide open. The puck is there. There's going to be a penalty on the play. Mikhail has made his decision. Unbelievable action around Ritterwall. The Soviet nearly tying the game. 19, Lamakin was on his back, on his side, doing anything he could do to try and get that puck into the goal as it lay there near the crease. There's the action. Samuelson, the big guy, with a cross check right in front. Look at Lamakin laying there, just doing anything he can to try and swipe the puck in. That was the infraction right in front of Ritterwell. No doubt about it. Yell Samuelson, 32-year-old Philadelphia star with well over 125 caps, brings his man down with a cross, cross check to the back. And that could be serious for the Swedes. It could be great for the Canadians. Two anxious minutes for both Samuelson, who's got to sit it out in the box, and the Canadians who are up in the crowd. The Canadians would love to see the Soviet score on the power play. Samuelson sitting in the penalty box would dread to see them score. A great finish to this two-week competition. We've had some excellent ice hockey throughout the competition, but this really is the icing on the cake. Kusadov. Kusadov gets it over. Lomakin. The tip. Kusadov on the side. Ritterwall stayed with him. The shot doesn't come. It goes back to the blue line. Semak takes a shot. That takes a deflection. Gustafsson bangs that off the boards but can't get it out of the zone. Nemchinov to the far side. A lot of pressure from the Swedes. And the big man, Sundin, shoots it down the ice. The Swedes really playing the box to force the Soviets outside. They're putting a lot of pressure on them. 17-28 gone in the period. The race is on. The Soviets, Kazatanov whistles that to the far side. Kozlov coming back now. The Soviets a chance. Kozlov is right there, right in front. Kazatanov took a swipe at it. Makarov, if anyone can do it, he can do it. He gets it back. Kusadov to the far side. Makarov on the hash marks. Moves in, takes the shot. The save is there. Anderson goes after Makarov. He won't press the box too far. Two minutes on the clock. Kusadov, the save is there by Ritterwall. A great save by Ritterwall. It's not away. Runkvist loses his stick. Zamnov keeps it in. All the way back to the slot area. That to flex high. 25 seconds now on the penalty. Zemnov, Kusadov, right in front of the shot. That took a deflection. Kozlov was right there. Makarov picks it up in the corner. 10 seconds, Kusadov takes the shot and Ritterwall comes up big again. Listen to this crowd. Soviets don't know what they've got to do to score a goal. Hands on their knees, crouched over. The Swedes are on their knees. Mikhail is about the only guy standing up on the ice. Unbelievable job by Ritterwall to keep the puck out and a superb effort defensively by the four Swedes who are trying to kill this penalty off. You really can't ask for much more than this. Incredible stuff. They started skating at the one second mark of this game and they're still going with just a few seconds remaining. Kusadov comes in, he thought he had that one, but Ritterwall had something to say about it. Ritterwall is playing out of his skin. If he can keep the Soviets out, he'll be a national hero. Six seconds on the penalty to Samuelson. 18-38 gone in the game. The Swedes are going for gold. Gustafsson and Bikoff will go into the face-off circle. Bikoff to Muranov. That's cleared out into the neutral zone. 
The Swedes are back at full strength as Samuelson jumps onto the ice. Ken Holmes fires that all the way around. Not a good clearance from him. The shot comes in from Beekoff. Beekoff puts it into the corner. And Johansson clears it away. Vickerson picks it up with less than a minute on the clock. The Swedes are going for goal. They lead this one 2-1. to one. Hacken Lude shoots it in. Moranoff wants to get it in. Get it out of the zone. Are they going to pull a goalie? Watch it. Pavel Buda brings it forward. Buda to Beekoff. A good move by him as he gets it to the far side. The shot comes in by Kamensky. Misses the goal. Well, the Russians can't win the gold medal now, but can they stop the Swedes from winning it? Will they give it to the Canadians? 20 seconds on the clock. That's right out front. And eventually cleared over into the corner. The bobbling puck is cleared down the ice. Trefidov is still in his goal. And the whistle blows. This is going to be an all-important face-off with just 11 seconds on the clock. Incredible pace, unbelievable action, end to end. The Soviets are going to pull anything out that they can to try and level the score. Evanson, coaching from the bench of the Swedish side. He knows what he's got to do. Ritterwall is the man at the moment. Well, if you remember back to earlier today, the Canadians had about 11 seconds to score a goal against the Americans to give them that five-goal bumper, and they did the job. Let's see what the Soviets can do. This is a tense time for both teams. Two to one is the score. The Swedes are leading it. And right now their backs are to the wall. They've got the face off in their zone. And the Soviets will go forward with all the pressure. It's going to come down to the face off being won or lost in the right bounce, one way or the other. It's as simple as that. Don't rule out the Soviets. They've come from behind before. This one is not over. Nemchinov is tied up. Less than 10 seconds now on the clock. Three seconds. The Swedes are going to win this one. They pick up the gold. The Swedes have won the gold medal as they celebrate on the ice. The Canadians pick up the silver. And the Soviet Union get the bronze. A well-deserved victory. The Swedes are delighted. The celebrations continue on the ice. They're hugging, they're kissing. The Swedes pick up their fifth gold medal. And these are the scenes in the crowd. The team is over the moon. The only guy who's having a difficult time trying to celebrate is Garpenlov, who's just gone off with a really bad cut. Two to one was the final score. Bergqvist and Sundin scoring for Sweden.